I'm Irving, and I have no life, just like you. But if you need to know how to build a Dalek, feel free to grab a screenshot. I have some awesome friends. <laughs> should be saying, Vatican what? I thought we were doing the Batman Arkham series. You would be correct. Last week I sat down with my completed script and my almost completely recovered voice to do some test shots and see if I could go ahead and record it. Somehow the word processor that I use for a teleprompter managed to lose the entire script. I bumped the font up so I could see it since I do these without my glasses and when I saved it that way for some reason it saved an empty document. I couldn't believe it. I had a backup copy on another machine, but it's only half done. So just rewrite it, right? Well, it's not that easy. See, I depend on the script to tell me where to put the clips that I've captured. With only half the script, that leaves me with roughly 90 clips and no idea where they go. So this is going to take a while. Rather than make you wait any longer, because this has gotten irritating enough, I'm electing to move on to something else. We'll come back to Batman when I've managed to fix all that. Okay, if you've managed to suffer through all that, let's get to it. I found this in a thrift store for two bucks. When I saw there were two games, I decided that made it a series and I'd give it a try. It has two games in it, the Vatican Mysteries and the one about the Bermuda Triangle. There do seem to be more games in the series, but I'm having an interesting time figuring out what they are and what goes where. So we'll take them as I can get them. What is this thing? I noticed one thing right away that I wasn't expecting. These graphics are pretty. For what this seems to be, I wasn't expecting this kind of quality. The music is interesting. I'm not really sure what we're going for. It almost sounds like Italian music played on a koto or something. It's a tad mesmerizing. question. What war are we talking about? Who exactly is the opposition? I'm going to guess the Nazis because Hitler was into some of that kind of stuff according to a lot of reports. But it doesn't actually tell us. So off we go to Rome. Okay, so what do I This far in, we finally get directions for how to play the game. I suppose it's not all that different from introductory scenes followed by tutorial levels in other games, but something about the way that was done just seemed a little odd to me. Still, now we know what we're supposed to do and what resources we have for doing it, so let's see how this game works. The bar at the bottom says we're looking for 15 Templar Crosses. It's a hidden picture game. I love these. Remember the highlights for children magazines? I still read those, mainly for stuff like this. Okay, here we go.
They carved that one into a tree. Clever. Oops, that's not a Templar cross. So we're only looking for the ones with four equal arms. Whoa, that was sneaky. I think I have an idea how challenging this is going to be. Let's see how this hint thing works. I know the Templars were supposed to be powerful, but I had no idea they could permanently imprint an image on a cloud. Remind me not to piss them off. It took a long time for that hint to recharge. According to the number on it, I had eight more after that if I felt like waiting that long. It wasn't until later that I realized it meant eight left for the whole game, not just this round. I wound up using one more. They could also make bushes grow in specific shapes and keep doing it even after they were long gone. Who were these guys? Why did you need 15 crosses to verify Templar presence? Wouldn't one do it? Or three? Of course, doing it that way has one major effect. It makes the game shorter. Okay, never mind. 15 it is. Let's move on. Next, we're taking a closer look at that flower bed in front of us, and we're looking for some critters. Why am I picking up bugs? And as I do, more keep appearing on the bottom bar. But notice something else. I clicked on this earwig and nothing happened. Likewise with this orange butterfly. But then, after their names appeared on the screen, I was able to click on them and collect them. That's confusing because it makes the player think there's nothing actually there and it makes it unlikely they'll go back to it later to find something else. I get this game's limitations, but there has to be a way around that. So I found all the bugs. What's the payoff? Dig the ground. So I can give them a proper burial? Oh wait, there's something here. But I'm pretty sure I had one more place to explore here. Is commandery a real word? Okay, 20 rosaries. Let's go find them. I love the way we have that really big crackling fire and the image isn't moving. I guess the wood lasts longer if the flames don't actually flame. Once you get the last rosary, you're supposed to find a seal fragment like the one you dug up outside. But I thought we were going to Paris. Now Istanbul? According to my book up there, I'm supposed to do both, and it would seem that I don't have to do them in any particular order. I chose Paris first, and it took us to this church where we started by finding a bunch of weapons and ammo. Once that's cleared out, we need to examine a painting we found. Finding all the pictures in this one proves that it's a fake, but there's more. He concludes there must be some kind of hidden message because that monk at the foot of the cross is way out of place.
So there was a seal fragment under the picture of the monk? Okay, let's get it. I don't see anything where he was, but let's start clicking stuff and see what we find. Where is it? I don't see anything that looks like a seal fragment. I don't get this. I finally gave up and used a hint again. right there in plain sight the whole time and it's taking me back to Rome. But am I done here? And what about Istanbul? Or Paris, I forget where I am. I think I'm in Paris. And there's an old Bible on the other side of the room. If you say so, I'm just playing the game. So we're picking apart a famous illustration by an even more famous Renaissance illustrator so we can find How do you get that out of this picture? I don't see it. But obviously he's got a trained eye and I don't, I guess. And we'll go with that. And the thing about the spear, I can't help asking, why? Why would someone do that? I'm guessing we're going to find out it has magical powers or something because of Jesus' blood on it. Gotta love the way the church immediately started building up all these goofy legends around the actual events. So what's the deal with the spear? He's a saint now. Okay then. And the significance of his image on this seal is, I guess we have to go to Istanbul to find out. Good thing we have an unlimited travel budget. And again, the significance of finding that particular church for our quest would be, I guess there's only one way to find out. I can appreciate wanting to make the game a little easier in places, but really? You know what they should have done? They should have made the mouse pointer into a set of clippers. That might have been interesting. Our ancient archaeological site includes things like a modern-day toilet and a 1920s-style telephone, among other incongruities. Once we clear away the trash, we find a few things. They're both worth looking at, so of course I have three arrows. Both of all three things are worth looking at, I guess. Let's start with the map. Just glancing at that, I'm not sure what made him think it was a map at all. A map of what? The middle of nowhere? Gee, you think all those letters and weird markings might mean something? We're in fast company here. Well, uh, how did he make that leap? There's a lot of that in this game, and if you're OCD or anal retentive, it might give you some problems. Be aware.
Okay, so we spell that out on the dial as slowly as possible because you can't go ahead of the prompting even if you know what the next letter is, and we get this. It looks like a key to the code cipher on the steel. What do I do with it? Apparently nothing for now. We have another goal at the moment. But what about the statue and the other arrow that points to who knows what? Well, that's up to you, the player. You can hang around and check those things out, or you can head off to Paris. Your choice. As you know, two of my favorite words. I decided to stay here and check stuff out before I got on the plane again, or whatever we're using for travel. Or maybe we're walking everywhere. That's one way to make the game longer. This is apparently the third item that What's-His-Name didn't mention. Okay, let's take the pieces away and see what's under it. So far it looks like garbage, so that's probably what we'll be sifting through next. Such lack of respect! But since we're here, let's do some defiling of our own. Check it out. There's a rather obvious seal fragment sitting right here in plain sight, but we're not supposed to notice it. Which is to say we're not allowed to notice it until he does. I'm enjoying this game, but that's one thing that gets frustrating real quick. The item you know you're really after is right there. You can see it, you can click on it, you can put your foot through it if you get frustrated enough. Just for the record, I don't recommend that anymore. With a little more effort, those payoffs could have required a little more work, even if it was just brushing off some dirt to expose it. That was how we had to do it with the translation steel. We couldn't see the fragment until we were able to click on the cross in the circle and expose it. Why couldn't we do something like that with all of them? It's a real missed opportunity. On to the statue. There's a relief of the crown of thorns on its base that's falling off. We remove the pieces to discover... Ooh, I think I see what we're going to use that cipher key for. This should be fun. Obviously, I couldn't do this until I had the complete seal for this place. But what's it the key to? What mechanism? There's a matrix of symbols and boxes to put corresponding letters into. That's a grid, not a mechanism. Hail Prince of the Obvious. Let's do this. The directions weren't as clear as they could have been, so it took me longer than it should have to figure out what I was supposed to do. Once I understood the second letter always refers to the Templar symbols, it was pretty easy. And a lot of those symbols look really similar, so look closely. Bingo! I win, right? I thought I was kidding. Okay, let's check it out. Finally, he explains why this lighthouse church is significant. Well, let's see if there's anything left. It's not a trap. It's 15 traps. There's the usual fare, like darts mounted in the walls, trip things to fall on you, and then there's this. A little overly security conscious, aren't we? Yikes! Couldn't have said it better myself. 
During the Dark Ages, when everybody was relic happy, the best relics had the amazing power to separate you from your money. From there, I decided to go back to Rome, after a brief stop here. I'm back in Rome, so what do I need to do here? I have an arrow to that flower bed I already explored. Is there something else there now? Okay, that's another little flaw. If we're done with that particular item, take it off the menu. It's not hard from a programming standpoint. Heck, I can code nothing with the best of them. So let's check out the thing in the middle of the garden. Turns out it's another cipher puzzle. We're reduced to reusing stuff. At first that was what I thought. Then I remembered this is pretty much of an open world game. There's every chance that another player might have found this one first. So they put the same instructions on both just in case. Okay, cancel the indignation party. What's this one gonna unlock? Ooh, secret passage in the wall. Perfect! Uh, we're in the middle of a garden. Which wall would that be? Obviously, somebody figured it out. If only I had my back cloth! Oh, wait. There's letters all over the room, and you have to click the ones that spell out Caius Cassius Longinus. The weird part is, you don't have to do them in order. But if you don't, it's freaking impossible to remember what letters you did and what letters you still need to do. Do it the way that works best for you. When you get all the letters, Don't you mean thank you Longinus? As far as I can tell, he's the one who opened the door. So we get another piece of the spear. He finally figures out that his mission is to find all the pieces of the spear. I knew that an hour ago. The game's structure is really subtle and pretty clever. First, we have to collect the sealed pieces for the three cities because those seals unlock the cipher puzzles that lead to the spear pieces. Stage 1 seals, stage 2 spear. Very nicely done, and really, it's so well integrated into the story that you don't even notice until you're looking for structure. You know, like reviewers do. Whoever they may be. Back to Paris for the final piece. At least I guess it's the final piece, since we only had these three places to work with. When I finished this puzzle, nothing happened. I wasn't sure what else to do, so I just exited. I don't know why it was different this time, but it really doesn't matter. So now we have to pick the real spear piece from among a bunch of fakes. We choose wisely. Nearly there? What's left? I got the pieces from Rome, Istanbul, and Paris, and those are the only places we've mentioned. Well, I guess I'll find out. So there's another piece in Berlin. It's probably leveling out Hitler's dining table or something. Well, as he says, there's nothing for it but to go for it. He expected anything less from the Nazis? You clear out a bunch of Wehrmacht junk, excuse me, artifacts. Now, you know what? I'm going to stand by junk. We have a random boot here, a hat over there, a riding crop or something, a uniform off in a corner. That's not artifacts. That's laundry. You clear it all out and find, first, a picture with a sort of genealogy of the Holy Roman Empire and the coats of arms of all the countries that were part of it. We start removing those.
This one's a little tougher than some of the others because those descriptions are pretty minimal and there's a lot of variation within the categories. It was really interesting and challenging. We're following the pattern, so where is the other part of the seal? We move on and examine a painting. So we start removing horses from the picture. Hold on, we're not removing them, we're highlighting them. This is new. So this is the last crusade. Indy, you sneaky little dickens. It was you all along, wasn't it? From here, it's pretty straightforward. The next object to examine is the crown of thorns relief. Remove the pieces, place the seal, and work the puzzle. The payoff? You may have noticed something about those puzzles, specifically the shapes that they make when you complete them. If you didn't catch it, I'm not going to tell you. You'll just have to watch again. Ha! If pigeons are the only obstacle, just walk up and take it. Is he afraid of getting pecked to death or suffocating in bird poop? Well, let's just go with it. I'm not sure what the coat of arms had to do with it, but we finally had this thing. Now what do we do with it? I'm pretty sure that's not what he had in mind. Now what do we do? Well, nothing. That's the end of the game. From here we just click and read the final scene. That's one way of putting it. I will run you through with the spear! Oh wait, you're already holding it. Oh crap. Why? It was a Roman spear. It's still a Roman spear. What did you expect it to turn into? What just happened? Is he saying the spear did something on its own? Or is he saying the bombs fell just at that moment? I'm really not sure. And what happened to that spear that we went through all that to find? I have to admit that ending was a little less than satisfying. So, what did I get for two bucks? Four hours and ten minutes of fun, interesting game for two bucks. I'll take it! So, final thoughts. I really enjoyed this. 
lame ending at all. It's a fun way to waste an afternoon, or you can turn the sound off, it really adds nothing, and play it while you do something else. I like that it has a definite, well-defined story, too. I found myself getting caught up in it, sometimes to the point of talking back to the narrator. If you like pure puzzle games, and especially these hidden picture types, you'll like this. And there are actually places online where you can get some of these games free, or so the blurbs say. I haven't looked too closely yet. But there are lots of places you can pick them up for a few bucks, and this one at least is worth it. Pick up a copy, load it up, and waste a few hours of your life having fun. There are worse things to do with one's time. I'm Irving, and I have no life, just like you. Choose wisely.